the Galilean transformation for the magnetic field as measured by observers on Earth is equal to the, the magnetic field as measured by the scientists on the rocket ship minus 1 over the speed of light squared times the cross product of the velocity of the observers on Earth relative to the rocket ship crossed with the electric field measured by observers in the rocket ship. So once again, the rocket ship, are, the rocket ship scientists are the ones who have established the field and have the measurements for the field. So the measurements for, or the observations for the observer on Earth is, can be found by the measurements of the rocket ship. So when we do this, well, we know that the magnetic field as measured by the rocket ship is in the positive y direction, minus 1 over the speed of light squared, times the cross product of the relative velocity of Earth relative to the rocket ship. And we know that value to be minus the relative velocity of the rocket ship relative to Earth. And this is crossed with the electric field as measured by the scientists on the rocket ship. So we have the magnitude of the magnetic field as measured by the scientists on the rocket ship is equal to minus 1 over c squared. Well, let's take the minus times the minus inside the parentheses. That gives us a plus. This is the speed of the rocket ship in the x direction crossed with the magnitude of the electric field as measured by the scientists in the rocket ship in the z direction. So this becomes the magnitude of the magnetic field as measured by the scientists plus 1 over the speed of light squared times the product of the speed of the rocket ship, the magnitude of the electric field as measured by the scientists, and the cross product of the I unit vector with the K unit vector. So we could get the cross product of the I unit vector with the K unit vector by using the right hand rule. And we know that that's going to be something along the, the Y axis. Is it positive Y axis or negative Y axis? Well, let's see. So we have the I hat, J hat vertical, K hat coming towards us. When I apply the right hand rule, I put my fingers in the direction of I hat, so that's the first vector. And this is the fingers of the right hand. I curl towards the second vector. That second vector is K hat. And when I do that, my thumb ends up pointing down. So, so I hat cross K hat is equal to minus J hat. This means that the magnetic field observed by Earth is equal to the magnet, magnitude of the magnetic field observed by the rocket ship minus 1 over C squared, the speed of light squared, times the product of the speed of the rocket ship and the magnitude of the electric field measured by the scientists on the rocket ship, J hat, where you'll see that I just pulled the minus J hat. I pulled the minus sign in front of the second term. So this then becomes the magnitude of the electric field as, or rather the magnitude of the magnetic field as measured by the earthbound observers is equal to b minus the product of the speed and the electric field measured by the scientists over the speed of light squared j hat. 
So let's go ahead and plug in values now. The magnetic field measured by the rocket ship is 1.0 Tesla. The speed of the rocket ship at 2.0 times 10 to the sixth meters per second. The magnitude of the electric field, which is 1.0 times 10 to the sixth volts per meter over the speed of light squared, which is 2.9979 times 10 to the eighth meters per second quantity squared in the j hat direction. When we plug this into our calculator, we would get to the fifth decimal place 0.999998 Tesla. Now I already worked out the units of the second term there, so you could double check me if you want. But this is the magnetic field observed by observers on Earth. Now I went out to the to the fifth decimal place primarily to to just talk about the fact that in this example, the observers on the rocket ship and the, or the scientists in the rocket ship and the observers on Earth would need to go out to five decimal places to notice any difference between the electric field and the magnetic field. Now, because of the uncertainty in these measurements, and we know that there is uncertainty built in because we're only given the magnetic field measured by the scientists to two significant figures. So that means there's an uncertainty in the tenths place. So if we were to really perform this measurement, the scientists in the rocket ship and the observers on Earth would both say, hey, we both measure 1.0 Tesla in the negative y direction, or in the 1.0 Tesla rather, in the positive y direction. So they won't see any distinction. So really the only distinction comes if we just ignore the rules of sig figs and go out more and more decimal places. And here it starts becoming significant in the fifth decimal place, which Again, as I said, because of uncertainty built into our measurements, we would say that for all intents and purposes, the scientists in the rocket ship and the observers on Earth would measure the same value for the magnetic field, but different values for the electric field.